Hello viewers, it is another wonderful day right here. Welcome to Oweleke TV. My name is Ramsey Enoch and this is The Review. Today we want to talk about something very, very important, very, very serious because a lot of Nigerians don't even know they are right. You hear a lot of people complaining behind not knowing what to do, especially when public office holders are doing things that it's not correct. When it comes to embezzlement, when it comes to corruption and not carrying out their activities the way it is supposed to be. Nigerians are now rising to the occasion looking at what is happening in Kaduna State as protesters stood their ground to protest for the trial as it has to do with El Rufai's um, 423 billion naira theft. Joining me on the conversation this morning is an esquire. I am right here in the studio with Alexander Ogbo. He is a chartered mediator and he is also a human rights activist. It's good to have you in the studio this morning, Barista. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank uh, you so much. Well, uh, anytime I see you like this, I know we're about talking, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> talking what the people actually want to hear. Exactly. Um, I'm taking you to Kaduna State right now, but before we go to Kaduna State, um, what do you think about the protest that is happening in Kaduna State? When the people, before now, people would just be looking at public office holders. No matter what they do, they believe they have immunity, they believe they have leaders, and um, the public rarely have anything to do. But right now, we can hear that um, there is a protest against Erufai, and you know who Erufai is in Kaduna State. Yes. What do you think about this? You know, the, it's above my heart cry, right? it's above my prayer, and that of so many other Nigerians, that the masses' power should resurrect. Because mm. that's the solution to all the problems we're having in this country. When the masses wake up to their responsibility, we start getting solutions. Mm. Otherwise, politicians will be taking off a ride, they'll be manipulating and going away with it. You know, in our constitution, 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Section 39 and 40, gives room, Section 39, thoughts of freedom of expression, Section 40, thoughts of freedom for peaceful assembly. All right? So it's enshrined in the constitution. Mm. And there are so many other aspects. You know, Articles 10 and 11 of the Human and People's uh, Rights, African Charter on Human and People's Rights, mm. provides the same uh, safeguard and uh, right to people to have freedom to express themselves and to peacefully, peacefully protest. Also, we have the sessions one and two of the Public Order Act that empowers the state governors, every state governor in every state, you know, to give a guide on when people want to protest, the routes they should take, the time they should move, and uh, in public places, on the roads and all. Only that the public order out is fair that if you want to do protest, you should apply at least 48 hours before the commencement. But you know, most of the time when people apply to protest, most of the governors will not sign. And <laughs> yes, allow them. They won't sign because they, not. they know it's against them. So yes. they won't sign. Their hands are not clean. So sometimes. just like just like uh, the police act also goes against protest. But the police act, the Supreme Court has ruled, is even the public order act is uh, subject to the authority of the constitution. The constitution is over and above these ones. Mm. Constitution gives that guarantee. The, the emphasis is on peaceful protest. But what is expected of uh, the police and other security agencies is to safeguard the people, to ensure that they are not attacked, they are not harmed, and also to guide them to do it peacefully, but not to stop them. You know, so it is important for Nigerians to wake up and seize this right. That's the power of the masses. And that's the solution to the challenges we're having. If the masses do not exercise this right, the society can never be right. It can never. Because politicians will keep on doing evil and be getting away with it. Hmm. So that is exactly what is going on. That's, you know, uh, on February the 2nd, uh, women backers in Kanu State, protested against the high cost of flour for baking. You know, uh, 5th February this year also, we saw massive protests in Minanaja State because of the economic crisis. 
And a few weeks after, there was one in Oshogbo, there was in Ibado, there was in Suleja, there was in Lagos. There were these protests, apart from uh, the effort made by the Nigerian Labour Congress. These are awakened developments to help the leader to sit up and get things done right. Like I always say, our leaders keep telling us we should tighten our belt. We have been tightening our belt right from the military era. Now we don't have waist to put a dress on. Not to talk of fixing a belt. <laughs> yes, our waist have been cut off by the belt we have been tightening over the years. So we need to shout, otherwise we are dead. Mm. Look at how the economy is. The cost of things wasn't every day. Every is, is unchecked. It, it's worse than spiral. But, but, kind of but, but, but Barrister, as it yes. is right now, you know, a lot of times this protest happened and um, the result of this protest uh, seems to be very uh, insignificant. So what do you think? Is there anything that can be done? Can uh, Is there anything that can be done to give this protest more backing? Because they are protesting in Kaduna State now. You know who Erufai is. Yes. And you know he may even in his own part, on his own part too, try to do one or two things to frustrate the effort of the protesters. Is there anything the protesters can do to at least make this protest hold weight or maybe uh, have their way through? What the protesters need to do is after the initial protest to ensure there's a follow-up, a follow-up protest. Okay. There's need for consistency from time to time, not to just do one off thing and go. Once the solution is not there, I have to embark on a subsequent. That's the only way. You know, when it's persistent, then eventually the those who think they can hide things will discover that there's no hiding place. Mm. You know? And it, look, during the past administration of uh, President Muhammad Buhari, each time the public want to protest, they will raise up security agencies and scatter the protesters. But then they will raise their own supporters to protest. And mm. you see security agents guiding them to the, the same route where they hindered other people it from means, protesting. It means they know the power of protest. They That's know. why they are even raising people. They know. I had that in sometimes back. It's good that I'm hearing it from you again. But then uh, why should people in public offices arrange people to go and do protests for them? Uh, that, that, that's the, that's the, the level of deception that we face in this country. And that's the more reason why the masses here should know that uh, there are so much we need to do to get things sorted out. Like the case in Kaduna State, you know, it is most welcome for the masses to rise in such a dimension. And there's need for it to be consistent. Even uh, uh, allow me to uh, digress to that of Rivers. There was some protest in Rivers also, you know, for the powers that be to allow the incumbent governor to breathe and do his job. There's need for that kind of protest anytime the need arises. You know, without it, we can never get it right. And, you know, one funny thing, uh, when the, our current president, uh, President Tinubu, celebrated one year in office, uh, he gathered uh, human rights activists in Abuja, you know, uh, to talk about how he operated in the past before he came to power. Mm. And uh, Senator Shehu Sani, former senator from Kaduna State, now in his contribution said that Tinubu was the father, or is the father of protest in this country. Oh, wow. Yes, because he's, he sponsored them and all the protests that happened both within and outside the country. Even when some of them had to jackpot, you know, run out outside the country, he still sponsored them from outside. Hmm. You know, so that that being the case, it means that Nigerians should know that the current president, of course, you know, 2012, when there was the protest against uh, um, uh, removal of subsidy, which was even the best time it should have been done, Tinubu wrote a treatise, a long supporting document, why it should not be done as of then. And remember, there was a protest in Lagos for over two weeks. And even in Abuja, you know. So okay, that subsidy shouldn't be removed. Should not be removed. By the Jonathan administration. administration. When it was just 87 naira, you know. And that was the best time this thing should have been removed. By now, we should have stabilized. Because things were much okay. In fact, the protest was such that Professor Wallace Shoinka called President Jonathan Nebuchadnezzar. 
Wow. Yes. And called Jonathan, because of subsidy. Because Same of the subsidy that remove, was removed by this. I, and called the wife she popotamus. These are in public domain. But that's why people are surprised. And now that the wars has happened, we're not had the voice of Wallace Shoinka. And it's, hmm. it's, 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 it's a dent to his image. So protest is necessary. And we need a lot of it. In fact, Tinubu, during the celebration of one year in power, said, yes, he had never arrested any protester. As he was called the father of protest. <laughs> <laughs> and not arrested any protester. He was and being diplomatic. He was being diplomatic. <laughs> so the protest is the key to any solution we need. You see, we are talking of... But, but, Barista, I'm not trying to cut you short, but uh, time is running now. Let me ask you this final question. Um, you know, um, before now, people will say, well, let's take this case to the court or so. Uh, protesters are taking uh, the bull by the horn. Yes. Because um, some persons are of the school of thought that they don't even have trust for the judiciary anymore because of what is happening. You can see what is happening in, in Kano State. You can see what is happening in other places. Uh, you know, uh, judgments that have been passed in the past and uh, that have had some form of controversies. So what would you have to say about the people losing trust in the judiciary and decided to deciding to go on protest instead of going to court? You know, some, some judicial officers have let the people down under the civilian dispensation. Uh, sincerely, when the military was in power, when we were having dictatorship in Nigeria, that was the time we had strong judicial interventions in cases, even against their lives. People like Justice uh, Karadesho, uh, you know, uh, Oputa and all the rest. They stood out against dictatorship and evil leadership, mm. contrary to their own safety. Mm. And now we have civilian democracy some judicial officers are letting the people down. But the truth is this. You know, uh, Proverbs chapter 17, verse 13 says, if you pay evil for good, evil will never leave your house. Mm. So whether judicial officers, whether political officers, uh, persons, if you do evil to the good of the common masses, you are going to pay. That's exactly what is affecting Erufai now. Erufai did fantastically well when he was minister of a city. All right? He did fantastic jobs that is still abiding. When he became governor of Kaduna State, we were expecting, you know, him to up the ante. But we saw him get into horrible practices, you know, insisting there should be no freedom of uh, people getting represented the way they want. It must be Muslim, Muslim ticket and all that. He was even shouting, he having done it in Kaduna, they have uh, been able to instill it at the national level. And he's going to continue that way and all. And he, he dealt so badly against certain Kaduna people. So it is this evil done for good or giving you opportunity that is raising the anger of the masses. And he cannot escape from it. And, and I, I think that nemesis started from when he was supposed to become a minister, that he couldn't get a place. Certainly. Uh, certainly. <laughs> well, I, I think um, I, I want to say a very big thank you. I would have loved us to continue, but because of our time. And one good thing is the fact that uh, Esquire is always on ground when we beckon on him. And uh, I'm so glad that you are here today. Well, this revelation is so much. This explanation, this information is so detailed. And this will go a long way, helping Nigerians. A lot of Nigerians never knew that protect is part of their right and the processes to go if they really want to protest and the consistency that is required for it to have effect. I think personally, I've learned so much and I believe the viewers out there have also learned something this morning. Once again, thank you, Esquire, for coming around. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. Oh, well, this is going to be the size of the review for this morning. We've learned something. Let's put it into practice. If the House of Rep member is not doing well, go to the uh, Assembly and protest. Go to the House of Rep and protest. Protest wherever you are. Anybody that's not doing fine, you have the right to call them to order via protest and other ways. My name is Ramsey Enoch. I'll come on your way again. And that's going to be uh, next week because the weekend is right here. Bye-bye for now. And if you've not subscribed to the channel, do so. Uh, like the, uh, the, the page on Facebook. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Okay. And so that uh, at the end of the day, you will be able to to know what is going on. Bye-bye for now. Follow us on our social media handles at Obeleke TV. 
Visit our website at www.oweleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Oweleke TV, rising star at the fairground.